good morning everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Kiara if you're new here it's currently Monday morning get off the counter it's currently Monday morning it's, what time is it it's 7 11 I've been awake since 6 30 um you may be asked Kiara why are you awake so early being a psycho in the background um but i have been doing my observation my practicum for my teaching class and yeah so basically i just go to the um school that i'm assigned to and i sit in the back of the classroom go i sit in the back of the classroom and i observe the teacher and I have to do 15 not 15 I have to do 35 hours of it like for the whole semester so I have a few more days that I have to be there and yeah I also got my first retwist just look at it it's like what's today's monday and i got it on thursday so it's still looking good don't really like i'm at that phase like i'm at the budding phase so like my hair is let me see if i can find a piece this piece right here that big <laughs> piece right there that's like the budding phase that's what like majority of my hair is at right now and um yeah, so basically my hair is just down because whenever I try to like put it up, I don't know, it just looks weird for right now. So we're just having it down. Um, but yeah, I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while because life is just a lot. And honestly, sometimes vlogging is the last thing I want to do just because, I don't know, I just feel like I'm boring sometimes. So there's that. Um, but this stuff, I love this stuff so much. I started using it, like, right before I got locks. It's the Myel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. Um, Myel, if you're watching this, sponsor me. Um, because I love your products. And this stuff, like, I honestly feel like it's making my hair grow. And I've seen so many people, um, like, rave about it. But other than that, the other struggle that I've been dealing with is the fact that, like, um, dressing to be, oh, my camera's gonna die. Um, dressing to be a teacher, like, professional clothing, semi-casual or whatever the frick, um, it's just so much. And it's like I have to basically buy a whole new wardrobe because like I don't have all these like professional clothing. Like I have like crop tops and like v-neck shirts and like not like jeans. Like I don't have any like you know professional pants or, or outfit for today. This shirt is from Old Navy and then these pants which have like a little tie right here. These are from Target like a while back. These are like, I've had these pants for a while because I bought them, I want to say in 2019 because I had an interview. <laughs> so I needed like, you know, some business casual clothes. So I got these and I knew they'd be perfect for like when I become a teacher and they're just, they're really cute. But yeah, so just finished getting ready, made some coffee. Here's Psycho Willow who doesn't know how to freaking leave me alone. Can you calm down? It's like 7 o'clock in the morning. Anyways, I made some coffee. Um, but my camera's about to die. So if I want to vlog a day in my life, I should charge it.
Hey guys, so it's currently two o'clock. I think the last clip you saw, I was in Target. I think I vlogged in there. Um, but yeah, so it's two o'clock. I finished my um, observation and stuff and I had to run to Target because I need to return like these teacher pants or whatever, like, you know, professional business casual pants. Um, and then I just left Old Navy and they're actually having like a 50% off everything right now. Like if you show your code, like from your email, which was really nice because I got two pairs of um, business casual work pants for $37. And before she put the code in, because I forgot to say, they were going to be $75. So definitely great deal. Um, yeah, so I got those and now I'm about to go into TJ Maxx just to browse because I'm right here. And um yeah, you know, it's the Christmas season. Sorry, there's a woman right there and she keeps looking at me. Um, but it's, you know, Christmas time. I've been slowly just browsing at stuff. I'm probably not going to get much Christmas decor this year. I really don't need any. Um, the only thing I really, really, really need is a new Christmas tree. I mean, I don't need it, but the one we have is very short and it just doesn't look correct. In the very first apartment that I had, the ceilings were shorter. So the Christmas tree looked fine but like our last place and this place that we're in now the ceilings are taller so the christmas tree just just looks weird so i really want to get a new christmas tree but like they're expensive and like i really don't want to pay like more than 200 dollars. and yeah but i'm about to go in tj maxx browse we'll see what happens and yeah all right so it's a lot later it's about eight o'clock um, i ate some dinner and i'm home now um as you can tell <laughs> I also, I think I said I went to Old Navy. I did end up getting two pairs of like work pants and they're actually having like a 50% off like your whole order. So I got two pairs of work pants for $37, which was a great deal because before the discount it would have been like 75. Um, but right now, let's put away our laundry right here. That has um, been sitting there for a few days now. I've just been living out of the laundry basket. I'm um, about to do that and then probably gonna do a little bit of homework and like a little bit of like studying and review because I am teaching a lesson tomorrow. So I don't know, I think I mentioned at the beginning of this vlog, I've been doing observation and it's part of my school, like part of my class. I'm gonna do 35 hours of observation and one of my assignments for observation is, um, teaching a lesson so i have to teach a lesson and i have to record it and then i have to submit that um depending on how it goes i may include the um the lesson clip in this vlog um but yeah so i've been kind of nervous very anxious for that um i got to watch my cooperating teacher like teach the lesson today it's a fairly simple lesson but my anxiety is just Good morning, everybody. It's the next day. It's Tuesday. Oh, stop. Go. Today is Tuesday. I'm a little tired. Um, and also a little anxious. I am take not taking, I am teaching my lesson today. First thing in the morning, teaching block one. And very anxious and very nervous. Like I'm prepared, I have all of like the knowledge and like everything I have to say, I have to teach, blah, blah, blah. But it's just like, you know, nerve wracking. I've never obviously teached a lesson before because I'm still learning. But um, I definitely like, this is something I was talking to the teacher about. It's like, school has prepared me to be a teacher on paper, but like, I feel like I'm not prepared in the classroom. Like if I just had to be a teacher on paper, I would exceed, I'd be a star teacher. But when it comes to like, being in the classroom and like actually doing it, it's very nerve wracking for me. So, 
and I know like obviously I'm going to get like what I need like, like to learn from student teaching which is why they have it like next semester I'm doing student teaching and it's I'm literally going to be the teacher for 14 weeks basically so obviously all of that will help me and by the time I'm done with that I'll definitely um feel prepared so yeah those are my thoughts hopefully I feel it's gonna no I'm not gonna speak bad it's gonna go good it's gonna be great everything is gonna be fine I'm going to exceed and you guys will see um me teach you the lesson in the next clip um as long as there's not like any students in the clip I'm going to try and like videotape it well for like my class I have to film it and I'm going to try to film it so that like you can only see me so which might be a little hard because obviously I'm gonna have to be walking around the classroom so we will see but that is the plan drop the camera because it's not really uh, on a tripod it's just on the um towel holder so you know that's not very safe i should wear my hair like this will like fix it a little i feel like this is giving teacher all right so it is the end of the day it is 5 30 i taught my lesson and it went pretty well like it went okay it went as i expected i will say that obviously like my anxiety you know told me oh my god you're gonna do horrible the classroom's gonna burn down like you know extras but um overall it went okay like obviously it wasn't going to be the most perfect lesson anybody has ever seen because that's the first time i ever taught a lesson so yeah those expectations no um but it went okay the kids i'm confident that the kids got what i taught to them especially since um, afterwards they did an activity which i love the activity as well and um as i was walking around the room like the kids were getting it so i felt confident that like even though my lesson wasn't as good as like my co-teacher or my cooperating teacher who has been a teacher for 10 years it was still good enough that the kids got it so that's literally all that counts um i will try to insert the clip i don't know if it'll be before this or after this but i will try to um it's hard because one the students are in the video and i do not have permission from their parents or from them to be recording them and posting it places besides to um my for my class like for canvas which only like me and like the te the professor and like the other students will see that video and then also i have my name tag like visitor sticker thing on and i really don't want anybody to know where i'm going to like i don't want people to know the school and stuff so i will try to maybe it'll just be like screenshots or pictures or whatever but i definitely will try to do that um but yeah i feel like it's really crazy how much more confident i feel after teaching that lesson even though like it obviously wasn't the best i just feel a lot more comfortable and and confident in doing more which is really good because i start student teaching in january and after like two-ish weeks um of student teaching the my cooperating teacher for that will completely turn the classroom over to me and i will be the teacher like she will be there but she will be like sitting in the back of the class or something or like doing other things whereas i that is going to be all i'm doing is teaching like she will not be teaching i will so that's really nerve-wracking <laughs> but i feel a lot more confident and prepared to be able to do that and i feel like that's really all that matters and here's willow ruining the moment are you trying to tell the people that you have something to say On another note, 
I don't even think I mentioned in this video that Willow had surgery last week. <laughs> And I recorded a lot of it. Um, I meant to like make it a video last week, but honestly, like she was like so sad. So like I was sad. So like I didn't really record anymore. It wasn't enough for a video. But yeah, so last week on Thursday, Willow got spayed. So she's like completely healed now. It's been over the 10 days. Um, like she was like her recovery was like 10 to 14 days and she was ready to be done. So she's done. <laughs> But um yeah, so I will add in those clips here. And she's gonna think we're not coming back. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Are you documenting this for your team? Yeah. yeah. It's okay, girl. It's okay. You okay? This is the saddest pup you ever did see. Did you have to have surgery, baby? Are you okay? Guys, she looks so sad and I feel like she thinks we betrayed her because we dropped her off and she had to deal with all of this. It's okay, we're gonna go home. You can have some treats. My mom got you a new toy. They sold that little ear pop. Mom got you a new toy. All right, so it has been a minute since I vlogged. Um, I just got off my Zoom class. It's about six o'clock. I'm sitting here on the floor with Willow. She's very sad. This is honestly <laughs> so sad. She just is laying, doesn't want to do anything, doesn't want to eat, doesn't want to drink. Um, we actually just gave her her medicine for the night and she just keeps crying. It's so sad. Here she is. Willow, the vlog misses you. We took her cone off for now just so she can lay down and be comfortable. She hasn't tried to lick herself or anything so far. So, I think she's honestly just too weak to even bend down to try to lick herself. But, yeah. Are you okay, baby? Oh, you just sleepy. Um, I'm really hoping that she like sleeps and is okay tonight because I have to be at work tomorrow at 6.30 in the morning. So like I have to be there at 6.30. I don't have to wake up at 6.30. I have to be there. So I'm really hoping that she sleeps fine so that I can sleep fine. But yeah, poor little baby. But um, yeah, it was so sad. She was just so like helpless and like, full of drugs the first like two days um and then of course like the cone of shame but we did end up getting her like a recovery suit which was literally just like clothes basically but it did cover the surgical area and then it did allow it had an opening for her to like use the bathroom so that was better for her because the cone of shame she just acted like she couldn't walk and then, of course, she would, like, run into things, and then she couldn't, like, chew her toy because, like, it would get stuck in the cone, or it would get stuck, like, under the couch, and then she couldn't get it. Um, but, yeah, she's completely healed now, and honestly, I feel like this surgery made her 200 times more wild, which I don't even know how that's possible, but she's always on 10. Like, even, like, in the morning when I get up for, like, work at 5.30, she's ready to, like, play at 5.30, and I'm just like, no like this is time for you to be quiet you're gonna go outside you're gonna use the potty and then we're gonna go back inside and still be quiet like she like how she was just like growling with, like, with her blanket and stuff that's what she'll be doing at like 5 30 in the morning and it's like no please stop but um so i think this is going to be the end of the vlog i never end off my vlogs anymore and i hate that i don't <laughs> it bothers me so much but like i completely forget all the time but i will say that in the next vlog i should be decorating for christmas i've been having major fomo seeing everybody decorating for christmas already and i really wanted to like at the beginning of the month but honestly like every day i've just been like really busy like going to the school and then working and then obviously still doing homework for class and stuff so next week i'm looking at the calendar um next week is thanksgiving week so i only work one day and then i'm only going to the school two days 
and then the rest of the week like I'm I'm off from like everything else which is really nice and then one of my classes like I don't have anything to do that week so I only have to do things for one class which is so beautiful um so yeah I'm definitely going to be decorating for Christmas next week I'm super excited I've been getting a few um Christmas decor pieces not anything too many mostly because I just haven't really been vibing with the decor this year I don't know how anybody else feels about it but like the stuff at Target is just not that cute and it's like it's really just not my style like they've had a lot of like red and burgundy and navy blue and like those kind of color items and I just don't really get it <laughs> like last year they had a lot of cute stuff and the year before they had a lot of the cute um christmas stuff like pinks and stuff like that which i feel like a lot of people like is like pinks and neutrals and stuff and i just feel like target is lacking this year and then another thing is a for me at least um a lot of decorations have gold in it and i'm just not a big gold decor person like i don't know i just feel like gold can make things look so cheapy and it's just not really my favorite like i like some pieces but honestly like not really um so yeah so i've gotten a few things from target also got a few things from like home goods tj maxx i really want to go to anthropology um maybe i don't know when i'll do that honestly i probably won't even end up doing it but um i actually i really really want to go to world market i love world market they always have stuff that i love like that's definitely like more my decor style is world market so i probably honestly what sucks is that world market is like in like two cities over <laughs> so it's like a good 30 35 minute drive for me depending on traffic and I have to like go through the bridge go through the tunnel which if you know the hampton roads tunnel is just not a tunnel you really want to go through <laughs> on a daily basis especially because they've been doing so much construction because they're building a new tunnel next to it and the traffic is just already bad put on top of the construction it's a hundred times worse but all that to say make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss out on any videos turn on my post notifications so that you don't miss out when i'm posting i know i've been posting very inconsistent um but my posting days are sunday and also wednesday i do um alternate between those days it just depends on when i can get a video out so like i said have your post notifications on so you don't miss out also follow me on instagram and tiktok I've been trying to like do more TikToks and do more reels on Instagram and stuff. I did do a reel about um, starting my locks and it has almost 10K views. <clears throat> Just so crazy for me, you know, like I've never had a, uh, I had a one video. It was of Khalil and Willow and it got like over 10K views, but I never had like a video of me <laughs> get over 10K views so it's super close to 10k which is pretty cool um so yeah definitely go follow me there and yeah so i will see you guys in what am i saying i hope you guys enjoyed this video like and comment if you did and i will see you guys in my next video bye